How's it going guys, Real Radman here, back at it again with another video, and I know Sonoma was supposed to be next, but I spent 45 minutes trying to run practice laps to learn the track and see how this game handles road courses on Legend AI with no assist. After 45 minutes of practice and about 20 laps, I was still 4.5 seconds off 42nd place. Just think about that, 4.5 seconds off of 42nd place. So because of this, I'm going to make the difficult decision, and I apologize even before I say this, I'm simulating Infineon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but there would be no point in racing at Sonoma when I'm four and a half seconds off the slowest car. I'm, I'm literally the slowest car by four and a half seconds to the 42nd place car, which means I'm about six and a half seconds slower than the leaders. So there was no way that that race was going to go any kind of good. It, was just, it would have been horrible in every single way. Um, this game with no assist and how the controls are is just not made for road course racing. I'm going to try Watkins Glen, uh, run practice laps there as well to see if there's any change. Um, but until then, that I can't do that. So this is the Infineon race. We're taking uh, the old body, old engine, and old chassis and just getting out of the way. And if we do simulate it, we actually might get a better finish than, you know, finishing last. So we're going to simulate it and see what happens. So you got Junior winning. And let's just see where we end up. We ended up last. So, I mean, this game is pretty realistic, I would say so. And we ended up last. And we, you still got 34 points running up last. It's cool. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean... It just, it honestly saved us time instead of having to just do that race, which would have been so, so bad. So again, I apologize for skipping Sonoma for those of you, for those of you that wanted to see it, but it would have been a complete waste of time and it would have been an absolute joke. So we're just going to move on to Daytona, the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. We have, for the first time, a slightly upgraded engine. So usually we had, I think... 52 power in our previous engine this weekend we are going to have 50 whoa 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 let's not quick select okay so we're gonna have chassis number actually let's save that chassis let's go chassis number two um and we're gonna have engine number three so 56 power 50 efficiency a little bit more power in the car and we're also going to put body number two as well to have a little bit more drafting. So let's see how Daytona goes. And I think with the old engines, we were getting maybe around 33rd, 34th at the restrictor plates. Um, that was at Daytona. At Talladega, I took two tires on both stops and finished, where did I finish Talladega? 18th. So this race, we're probably going to do the two stop or the two tire uh, pit strategy again for both pit stops. Probably take uh, left side tires on the first stop and right side tires on the second or I could do right side tires on the first stop and left side tires on the second doesn't really matter I'm going to try to stretch the fuel as long as I can to maybe just hopefully get uh, a half a tank in on that last stop but I don't think that's possible so let's just see what happens let's get into the race I've rambled long enough and let's do this that sun glare is really bad oh my god I did my part as driver. Let's just see uh, if the car did its part. Hopefully top 30. That's a decent time. We can work with that. Man, it feels good to have an upgraded engine, doesn't it? <laughs> Alrighty, let's get to racing the Pepsi 400. Here's the call. 
Tonight, it's super speedway action under the lights. MRN is live at the Daytona International Speedway this evening with flag-to-flag coverage of the Pepsi 400. This track is known by everyone, race fan or not, but for these race teams, it's a glory all its own when you can get a win here. The list of former winners here is very prestigious indeed. Who wouldn't want their name to be on it? Who knows, maybe we'll add another lucky driver when this one's all over. The Windcraft car has had some trouble in qualifying this year. Yeah, that can really be a huge letdown for your self-confidence as a driver. You know you're a good driver, you have a strong car, but it just seems that nothing ever goes your way in qualifying. Makes it tougher to focus on the job at hand come race day. Jerry Nadeau is one of those guys who you just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there. Kyle Petty started racing in the Winston Cup Series back in 1979 at the age of 19. You know, there's a lot of pressure on drivers in NASCAR, and you got to believe it's even heavier when your last name is Petty. So to come out and start banging fenders with these guys at age 19, you got to admire that. Starting P20. Hey, look, it's Jeffrey right in front of me. What up, Jeffrey? Um, I think I think a top 10 is possible. The pit strategy that we're going to use, I think top 10 is very possible, actually. Oh, wait, actually, when I think about it, uh, this sun glare is horrible. When I think about it, this is only 16 laps, so I think we might be only making one stop, which kind of hurts us because two stops would help us if we were doing the two uh, tire strategy. So I just need to hopefully hold on to this pack as much as I can. Um, when I said upgraded engine, I meant slightly, not not that big. <laughs> but we're going to see what we can do. I let Sterling Marlin go there for kind of a strategic reason. Um, that was really close. I'm trying to get the draft and maybe get it to pull me up, but it is not. So that strategy did not work. So remember when I said top 10? Yeah, it's, that's not happening. I, the, the front pack is already gone. Uh, the race is split in two. You have the front pack and this pack that I'm leading, just blocking the guys. Um, Kenny Wallace over here is all by himself. I'm trying to get the draft on him uh, just a little bit. Oh, wait, we're already halfway on fuel. Are we doing two stops or not? I, I really wish I could know right now. I think we are going to do two stops, which is, which is going to help us. Up the inside of Rusty. Whoa. That's a pretty cool paint scheme that uh, Ward Burton has. I can't really tell. Oh my god, people are already pitting and it's only lap four. Uh, yeah, we're definitely doing. Dude, at this point, they could be doing three stops. What the hell? There they go. Huh. I'm not coming in. I'm coming in next lap. I don't know what you're talking about. I still have 3.7 left. Next lap, I will come in, not this lap. I'm just judging the fuel. We had 3.7 when we came across pit road. I want to see maybe if I could extend it one more lap, but right about now is the time where I don't think it will work. I need it to stay above 2.0, but yeah, it's not going to work. So, here we come down pit road. I'm going to try to be kind of aggressive here. I don't know if the game glitched right there or what. That was weird. Okay, right side tires. Actually, let's go left side tires. Hell with it. Uh, do, 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 do. Done. Go, pick crew, go. Jump off the fucking wall, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get me out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, but the second field, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, come on, go, go. It's been 12.5 seconds, are you kidding me? This is the time of a normal damn pit stop. <sighs> go, 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 go. I'm moving up on the track to block. Don't block that, though. Oh, Harvick, slow down for me. Thank you. 
All right, P11 is where we will be. So we gained about 10 spots there. So if we do it again one more time, hopefully gain maybe five spots. Right now, I'm, I'm going to be in third person. I'm going to be blocking. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Go past Kurt Busch there. Now we're in the top 10. I think this is the race where we will get our first top, first top 10. I don't think we've gotten the top 10 this year, which uh, no, we haven't. So I feel like this will be the race. I just have to uh, work both lanes here and hopefully bring her home. Oh, I did not work both lanes. Damn, I didn't think the outside would get that kind of a run. Let's see if we could just stall it a little bit. There we go. Give me that draft. Give me that draft, Joe Neiman Track. Do not go away from me. Do not go away from me. Come back here, boy. Come back. Bring them cheeks back. Uh, I don't think he's coming back. Come on. Nope, he's not coming back. I found the secret to blocking both lanes. You just have to be right in the middle. If you just stay right in the middle of both lanes, neither of them can get a run. It's kind of weird. I don't know if I just found this in this game or not, but yeah, they can't. Sterling Marlin's coming into the pits. This is... I don't... They can't make it. If they pit now, they can't make it because I pitted on lap five and I got halfway on fuel last lap. So these guys who pit, they got to pit one more time. No, no, that is not their last pit stop. I do not think that is their last pit stop. I'm in the same boat that I was where I wish I, I need, I don't even think I can make it. I think I need to go one more lap, but I can't make it one more lap. If I go one more lap, I would run out with the calculations 2.7 now, 2.6, as you guys can see, 2.5. If I went one more lap, I would run out right about here. Now... Is it worth it? Because that, 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 that would be going for the win at that point. So, I think we have to pit. We're going to pit here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Yes. Okay. Right side tires. Full tank. All right, pit crew. Go to work. Give me a good stop. Oh my god. He stumbled. He stumbled. Oh my god. A two tire stop took 13 fucking seconds. A two tire stop, guys, took 13 seconds. I, I can't believe this. I, I honestly cannot believe this. Okay, so this is basically how this race is going to go now. Um, I think everyone who just pitted, if you look at the map, the people who just pitted now, I don't know how they made it. Uh, maybe my fuel efficiency is just not very good. It, it is only a 50. Um, we are going to run out on the last lap in 3 and 4. So, I don't know, man. This is, like, I mean, what can I, what, we, we kind of, like, did what we can. I can't go another lap because I will run out in 3 and 4 anyway. So, basically, we're going to have to end the race running out of fuel on the last lap in three and four and seeing if we coast our way with cars behind us it's i don't know <laughs> let me just say this is going to be an interesting one i would stick around this is going to be something that's going to be i wasn't expecting this one coming in the pepsi 400 who is this how did you just pit what jerry nadu oh he's a lap down <laughs> god damn you're slow okay um we're halfway on fuel i don't know if this works but i need to see if we could draft someone and I think in this game, if you draft, you actually do save fuel. So come on, come on, give me the draft, give me the draft, give me the draft. Just pull up. Come on, car, please. It's the problem. I can't draft with anyone because the car isn't fast enough. No, Harvick, you're not getting by. <sighs> Mechanical failure to Ken Trader. All right, so here comes the, dile the dilemma. You see I'm low on fuel now. We have 3.1. We're gonna run out either on the back stretch or in three and four. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> what the hell do I do? It looks like Nadu or I don't. I forgot that is, but they're coming to pit road. A couple of other other cars came to pit road. Now we we are P9, but we're gonna run out. We have 1.2 left. So, I mean, I I didn't want to pit that we would have basically lost everything, so, yeah, this, uh, we're running out, I, I don't know, this is gonna be bad, oh boy, 
All right, four, three, two, one, and we are out. And we hit Sprague just to make it worse. We are out, and now we have to coast our way to the finish. Hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off. I mean, I'm not going to be able to hold off everyone. Hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off. Uh, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. This is literally the definition of slow rate. Uh, 13. <laughs> I've never had to do that before. Block off the AI to uh, finish the race, but guys, we finished 13th in a race where... I don't know, that was not what I was expecting. I mean, overall, look at that. We have 384k now, so sponsors are happy and everything. Just, I'm kind of like in shock. I was not expecting that. It was, that was a weird, weird race, uh, just to show that um, maybe we might need to work on our fuel efficiency for uh, some future races, but sponsor prestige tip, your hard work is paying off. One of your sponsor's prestige levels has gone up as a result of your success on the track. You will receive a bonus payout every time your sponsor's prestige uh, reaches a new all-time highest level. So that's nice. Um, does that mean when they finish, do they give me a payout, or... When I have to re-sign them, do, do they give me a payout? It's Don't really know that. Alright guys, so that is it for this episode. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Next race, we are going to Chicagoland. So that should be an interesting one. Um, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. We talk, I feel a rush. We clutch. It isn't much, but it's enough to make me wonder what's in store for us. It's lust. It's torturous. You must be a sorceress, cause you just did the impossible. Gain my trust. Don't play games, it'll be dangerous. You broke me over, cause if I get burnt, I'ma show you what it's like to hurt. Cause I've been treated like dirt before you, and love is evil. Spell it backwards, I'll show you.